Hello everyone. Here is how you can help during Sunday services and coffee hours. So first I'm going to open up a browser. In this case Chrome and I'm going to sign in to zoom.us. Over here you can see it says sign in. So if you are the first person that is opening the service, so in old school in-person services you would unlock the church and enter the code into the alarm panel. Now to do that you enter the email address unitarian.edmonton at yahoo.ca and then enter the password that was given you. These passwords will change periodically. If you are not the person signing in for the to open the church and you're just helping with muting etc during the service then here you will make sure that you enter your own email address with your own password to sign in. Right here I, I've got stay signed in so it always appears for me. But if you're not the one opening the service, make sure you sign in under your own account. Okay, we're going to sign in. Select the squares with the motorcycles. Sometimes that appears, sometimes it doesn't. When I'm in and out of Zoom a lot, it appears. So, if you are doing coffee hour, or Sunday service or whatever you look for the appropriate day and time and you'll get a description here these will all be set up for you in advance so we're doing training today so let's start the training I'm opening the zoom meeting Oh, it feels so long when you're just sitting here by yourself, but it's all good. It works out. There we are. I'm going to enter full screen. I always open up participants in chat. And depending on how you've previously set up your screen, I have to exit full screen and then hit this box to make it maximize again, but have my participants and chat on the right hand side. So there we go. We're now ready for participants to enter. And I'm going to get some devices here and get them signing in. It's not very exciting watching me sign in, but there we go. So, on the right hand side, depending on how the meeting's set up, but more and more meetings are set up with the waiting room, so we can discourage uh, people that shouldn't be here, that are only going around to Zoom meetings to cause chaos or whatever. If you leave people in a waiting room for a moment, they generally disappear if they're a Zoom bomber. Um, so, I know who they are, and even if you don't, you'll still have to admit them, but it just gives you a little second that you can prepare for someone that you don't recognize. So here we go, I'm admitting, and I'm admitting. And at the top, you can see my devices looking at my dining room ceiling. It's very exciting. If I go into gallery view, then I can see all of us hanging out together. So I am going to mute all. So when I click mute all, I get this message. Mute all current and new participants. Allow participants to unmute themselves. This, I will hit mute all at the beginning of the service. I do not want people to unmute themselves during the service. 
So I'm going to unselect that. So when I say yes, everyone is muted and will stay muted. Sorry, I have to continue to sign in the devices. Um, there we go. On the participants, you can see if they have their video going, if they have their microphone going. Um, so for this example, we are going to make Scott's iPad. Right along here, we could make it a host or a co-host. The only difference that really matters is everyone that's going to be speaking during the, the service must be a host or a co-host. The person doing breakout rooms needs to be the host. So I've signed in in the morning. I got up early, made sure it's all open. I'm passing the host to Scott's iPad so they can manage the breakout rooms to have coffee hour after. So I can just make them host right now. And there they are. They're now the host. They have power. But then I've decided, oh, they're having some problems. I need to reclaim host. So I go over here in the participants. There's these three little buttons. I am reclaiming being host. And now I'm host again. But I am going to make Scott's iPad a co-host. Do you want to make Scott's iPad co-host of the meeting? Yes, I do. So everyone that signs in that's going to be speaking or recording or helping with tech during the service, you want them to be a host or a co-host. Mainly co-host unless they're doing the breakout room at the end. So it's all in these more buttons, which is very easy. Um, at the end of the service, when you want everyone to be able to unmute themselves, for the breakout rooms, I go into the mute all again and click that. Allow participants to unmute themselves. Yes. And that will allow everyone to unmute themselves. So let's say um, this is everything that people have had to do so far to assist services. Let's say we do get someone that comes in and is disruptive. We can go into the more and down here we can remove them. If I remove them they cannot get back into this meeting ever. Doesn't matter what I do they are gone they are not coming back. So make sure that you're not accidentally removing someone and this isn't a way to if someone forgets to sign out to sign them out. This is for someone that you don't want joining your meetings ever again. Um, so that is mute, unmute. So you can unmute people individually or you can mute as a whole. Uh, down here in the chat, you can have it. So I only send a message privately to Scott's iPad or I can send a message to everyone. Over here I can change it so no one can chat at all. Or only the host can send messages. Or everyone can send a message publicly. Or everyone can send a message pub publicly and privately. So people can send in messages just to an individual, even if they're not a co-host or a host. Um, it's pretty basic. I think that is it. Um, yeah, you set up the view how you feel most comfortable. I personally like the gallery view when we're chatting during the service. I like the speaker view to have the concentration on who's speaking. Um, to end the meeting, let's pretend the service is all over, we've done the breakout room and everything. I'm just going to end, and I'm going to end the meeting for all. 
that's it. Hope that helped.